All right, we're going to take a quick look at this up. Hi for Joe. We'll make sure that uh, we're trying to transfer these from national frames onto Smith frames. I started, I was going to start this morning and then of course it uh, rained. It's still a bit damp here now. We're taking the feed down, which is a good sign. Let's have a look. Right, well, first thing to say is there's not very many bees in there. So one of the things we're going to have to do here is increase the number of bees at some point. But let's see what we've got, see if we've got any eggs. That's still an empty frame, so is that. This frame is being drawn out. But there are no eggs in it. There are a couple of queen cups. No eggs in those. Right, well, that first sight suggests that there isn't actually a laying queen in here. We'll check the other frames. So these are old national frames there, well there we are, queen cells there, so this doesn't have a laying queen. Right, well we're not going to let those queen cells go through. So we're hatching out. There's another queen cell in the production there. So, no laying queen. All right, well, let's close those up for the moment. Not too happy when they don't have a laying queen. Now I've heard that that hide might not have a main queen. So I'm hoping that this nuke here that did have a lane queen some weeks ago has still got one. Thank you. 
frame there. Plenty of brood there. The bees calmer because they've got a queen, I think. So now there she is. She's uh, she's easy to see. She's not moving very fast, or she wasn't moving very fast. She is now. Gently does it. There she is. So she's new queen this year, so she's blue, but I'm going to give her some white first because. I find the blue is a bit dark on its own. Mm, she's blue now. So there she is, 2020 queen, you can see the queen cell that she came from here and she's laying okay but these frames are pretty old and so the next stage is to get her off these frames and into those frames in the box there. Now, the bees are trying to wipe off the markings. Come on, get off, get off. Mm. I'm just going to give her a moment of wandering round so the marker can dry. She's walking all right. Mm -hmm. There they go again, look, they're trying to clean it off. Quite warm at the moment, so it should dry fairly quickly. There you are. She's now. She can now feel it drying. She stopped and put her legs on it. Legs up, because she can actually feel it drying now. Get off these. We want it to dry. I don't want you licking it all off before it's dry. Come on. Let it dry. Come on. Alright, I think that should be alright now. So, for the time being, she's going back in this box. Now I'm going to get something set up to unite her into that box with the beads that are in there. Okay, here we go again. Now we want the queen that's in there, united with the bees that are here, but don't have a queen. 
We know they don't have a queen because they're mm -hmm. making queen cells. So the first thing we want to do is to get rid of the queen cells. Because we don't want them with queen cells in here. So we go back in here, find the queen cells and destroy those. Stage one. So, there's one there, there's one there, three there, couple there. So, having destroyed, there's that one there, having destroyed those, it's Friday today, the bees were put into this box last Saturday, so there are no longer any eggs that are young enough for them to make new queen cells with. Being queenless, they're not very happy, and they're stinging me because I'm messing with them. Oh, there's a queen cell on there, so that's got to go. Quite a lot of bees to hatch out, so we want to leave the uh, frame in there for a while. We just don't want any of these queen cells because we want them to accept a new queen. That wasn't one. Double check this one to make sure. None on that side. None on that side. Right. So queen cells are gone. We're going to use the newspaper method to unite one lot of bees with a laying queen with another lot of bees without a laying queen. So here's our newspaper. Smallest of holes. Just enough for them to. Doesn't matter how light the breeze is, it will pick up on a newspaper and blow it up. Right. Right, well, that seems to be able to be stood on there. That's, that's all right. Put the hive tool back. Now we've got to get these frames into that box.
These are not making the same kind of fuss at all because they've got a queen. There she is, still mark blue. Now, at another time of the year, I would worry about there being only five frames in that box. But it's very warm at the moment, the forecast is for an extremely warm week next week. And um, I reckon it won't be long before they're united together anyway. So I'm going to risk it without having any other frames in the moment. that on there for the time being. Rescue the bees out of this feeder. So that's it for the next uh, couple of days. I'll come back in a couple of days time and uh, see if they've united and if they've united there's holes in the newspaper and they've each set of bees has met each other then I can take that box off and I can shake all the bees into the bottom box make sure the queen's in the bottom box and then we can think about adding a few more bees to the mix if necessary Right. right, two days since I tried to unite these two bees, lots of bees together, and um, I'm not sure it's been, hasn't been a textbook uniting because the two boxes don't match, and the bees are going around the back now to get in to the top box. They have been taking some syrup, but I'm going to, think I'm going to pull it all apart and put it all back together again. Let's uh, let's move this.
Oh, they, they chewed right through the newspaper, so it has actually, it has actually worked fine. You can take all this newspaper off now. So it's two days, two days and they've uh, chewed through totally. So now, let's see if the Queen's still in this one. On that frame. Mm -hmm. Not sure on that frame. There she is. She's on that frame. is in this top top corner here still just about marked blue and white so now we want her down in this bottom box go on down you go and she's gone around the other side Come on girl, there she is, she's on the hive tool, and now she's in the bottom box. Now we can shake all these bees off these frames. going to take out this frame here. This was a, a broken frame but it um, had quite a lot of food on it so
It was there to feed them. Huh. Well, good job of taking that. There's actually a queen cell on it as well. Okay, so now we've got our queen. Where we want her in this box. We've still got a couple of frames that we don't want in there at the moment, but we'll leave them a few more days to settle down. This is going to be its uh, travelling screen when we've finished. So the queen's in there now, um, they'd already united so they should accept the queen alright, they should be happy as Larry with that new queen. The bees are sent marking the entrance, saying the queen's in here, which they weren't doing before because she wasn't actually in the box, but they are now, so that's quite good, well, that's very good. And so. We'll leave it for four days and let them settle down, keep feeding them if they run out of feed and then come back and have another look and make sure that the queen is laying on the new frames rather than the old frames. And if she's laying on the new frames, the old frames could be removed. So that, that's it for now. So Joe's hive. Joe's getting quite keen to see his bees. Take them away. Get them in his own apiary. So I'm just going to give them a kind of final check and get them ready for moving out. Um, I've noticed that they, they seem to be going in the back a bit, so I'll have to have a look at that. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. I think the they're getting actually underneath the floor.
They've been taking the feed down quite well, so that's quite good. But what's been going on at the back? Ah, uh, yes, the floor. The mess of the floor is, um, it's not fixed. It needs a few tacks to f fix it to the To the wood properly, so we're going to put a bit of tape along there. And turn it around again quick. So, of course, now those that want to go in the front can try and get in. It's beginning to get a bit of weight to it. That'll need a bit of a better fix later on. A bit of a windy day today, but not not just down in this little spot. But it's been blowing a blowing gale the last couple of days. Certainly not the heat wave that we had when I was making the other videos earlier on. So we'll have a quick look at the uh, at the bees. Going well, I like that. Oh, yes, they're beginning to build these frames out quite nicely now. So, if I take, if I take this one out. drawn that wax out, filled it up with sugar. I'd rather not be disturbed on a day like this. Ah oh, yes, Queen's laying now on these new frames. So that's what we want. Yeah, quite well developed in there.
So we can move these two towards this side and gradually they can they can be worked out of the box altogether. down a bit. The, the brood on these frames is, open, is hatching out now and it's hatched out on that side so there's some young bees in the hive they could be taken out altogether but I think we'll leave them in Your eggs brood on there now. Quite well developed brood. There's a queen. The queen's in the middle, in the centre. Still, still got some blue marking on her. They're wiping it off gradually as time goes on. This is what they do. Slide this one. Hmm. It's not a very nice day to be opening a beehive. It's not nice for them when it's windy like this, they can't get out and do what they want to do, they can't, they can't get pollen, although they were bringing some pollen back, but they can't get pollen and nectar in the way that they'd like to. Alright, so that's one move. So gradually these two old frames can be moved to the side and then eventually taken out and new ones and new ones put in so the whole the whole box then becomes a whole set of new frames. I would think in another just another couple of inspections they could be they could be taken out. The bees are quite well established on the new frames now. Alright this is a this is our Enviro mesh cover. I'm going to put some drawing pins in there. Um, now I'm not going to be able to take any more food when I do this. So I might just put um, two in for now, just to get it ready and then 
find out if they're going to get collected. I don't like the idea of bees um, travelling without some kind of travelling screen. So that's what that's what this is intending to do. This has already been attached at the back, but It makeshift as a travelling screen, but it'll do the job. And um, I don't have any Smith Smith Five travelling screens. And I can tidy that up a bit and maybe tape it, tape it all around the edges and of course block the entrance up and they should be, uh, then they'll be ready to, um, ready to go. And that should, uh, should allow them to travel, get some air, without, um, is that they don't, um, get overheated in the in the hive cut a bit off here and then, then tape it up. Tape around the sides. So yeah, something should should work.
Yeah. I could actually just dribble a bit of this. Okay, oh, that's what I'll suck down. Not too much, don't want to drain the queen. And it's got an open waste floor so it will go straight out the bottom anyway if there's too much. Should be able to lift this into into the back of a car without too much too much difficulty. And then maybe halfway if it's a long journey you can stop halfway and give them a, a slight mist spray of um, water. It's never a, a bad idea. Let's get the crown ball back on. the time being. Top here. Off you go. Come on, off you go. Right, that can be locked up at um, night time and then um, they can go to a new home and uh, I think they should be, uh, they should be alright.